Hey tribe, welcome to the HGDC HD Designs Crochet channel. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28. I live in the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. Today is slightly different in that it's an unboxing video. I have gone and got myself a Singer Overlocker S14-78 to and I'm going to be showing you what's in my box. Whoop, whoop. I have picked this overlocker up from my local Lidl store which I noticed when I went shopping. Um, it was reduced, it was only £119 and I think if you've watched the channel from the start you will know that I've set myself the goal to make myself my own clothes and that this is something that I wanted to get. I do have the old one that my granddad gave to my mum but it needs a service and it needs some TLC. I'm not sure how much that will cost or when I'll get to that. Just rest assured we will keep it but I've gone and got myself a brand new ready to go, ready to roll machine. So. I'm going to set you up on my phone and my tripod so you can see a bit better and then we're going to get this box open. Here's a better view of the box for you. It's the Singer S1478 Overlocker um, and as I said this is from my local yarn, um, Audi, local supermarket. So it's got all about singers, original since 1851, a little bit about the history there. Um, singer has been synonymous with sewing. Singer's leadership in the industry has remained to this day due to our continued commitment to quality, reliability, innovation and service. And I must admit, when I saw Singer, then I knew that it would be a quality item. Whereas had it been another make, maybe I wouldn't have got it. Um, I took a picture of the box and I had a quick look online for some reviews um, saw what price it was online and all of the um, sort of services this overlocker gives and decided to go for it. So it's got 12 stitch types, um, differential feed, I'm not going to pretend I know what that means yet, sew finish and trim seams in one step, built in rolled hems, decorative capabilities and a free arm. I mean, it all sounds good to me. And then let's just roll around to the other side. So we've got the settings here, color coated threaded, um, and then watch the free online singer owners class video, which I am going to be hitting that. And it's got 12 different stitches. So I feel like I'm getting a lot of bang for my book. And this is the little machine. So let's get it open guys, yay! The moment of truth. I'm gonna pop this box open, she says. So. That's it, it's open. Oh, polystyrene everywhere. So I've got a pedal and the cable foot, um, which is there. And then I've also got some tools. So it looks like I've got some needles and thread, threaders, needles, and some tools to help me thread it rather. So that is good. And that was all in the top of the box. Can we see that? Yes, we can. Now for the good stuff. I'm gonna push that back. Get the polystyrene out. I hate polystyrene, guys. Oh my goodness! I have to show you in the box. Look! Oh, let's turn you around. So inside the box, all neatly packaged. Oh, look at that. Oh, I could sit and admire it, but I'm gonna crack it open. Um, drive. I'm so excited. Right, it's the best way to get this out. It's heavy. Ooh. It's out. 
I'm going to get the box out. So within the box I've got the overlocker and I've got overlocker, oh it smells really strong, instructions, tools and the pedal. got this protective plastic wrap which is stinky. I'm just gonna lift it off. Oh my goodness. So it comes out of the box. It's got this tape down here. It must be to keep that from opening. A little bit of scrap material. A bit of thread wound on. And then it's got all around the sides. So you can see all around the sides it's got these gizmos which don't know what they do yet. Oh it looks like scissors. This is the back. This is the scary industrial bit that we're all a bit like, how do I use this thing? But hey if I can knit socks two at a time I can use this right. And then it's got a winding knob and that's where the plug goes in and it's got the on switch and then back to the front oh, my singer s1478 i'm really really pleased with this um i feel ever so slightly intimidated by it i'm not gonna lie but I know that there's plenty of help out there on YouTube and with this I am going to make some of the most amazing items. I've got so many designs in my head as it is. I've got dresses with crochet trim, I've got dresses with crochet panels. Oh, it's definitely going to be a hybrid guys of crochet knitting. There's going to be a smorge, a mix of the two, um, my loves. So. But first of all, I need to look, work out the basics and do a very basic pattern. If anybody's got any patterns that they think is a good one to start with, hit me up. Um, and also, what have I got in mind? I set at the start of the year, the goal, my personal goal, is, was, is, still is, to make a pair of gym leggings. And I desperately need gym vests, so... I might find myself a pattern and find some fabric and the vest will probably be my first little attempt at making with my new singer. Oh, love it. Um, I don't really want to play with stuff in case I touch something I shouldn't. Oh, so you can crank that. Oh, how do you make it release? Oh. oh gosh, why is this one? Wow, so I need to crack out the instructions and see exactly what's going on here. Um, it's a decent, decent bit of kit. I'm so excited and I'm so pleased because when I went back to my local store, having seen two on Wednesday, today's now Sunday, and I sat there all week I've been a bit like, I want an overlocker, should I go get that overlocker, that overlocker, 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 and then I just sat there now and just thought, I've got the money, thankfully, squirrelled away, and there's so many projects I want to do, and I've been dreaming about dress designs, so surely this is a sign that this is an affordable piece of equipment. So I went to my local store and they, there wasn't one left. But I thought, no, there is one waiting for me. I know there is. So I went to the next store, which was about a mile away, a mile and a half. 1.2 miles to be exact. And there was just this one waiting for me. I need to name my singer. Though I think I've named it Singer. 
my sewing machine is just sewing machine and this is now just thing up unless I give them proper names if anybody's got any suggestions holler at me so here's my instruction booklet um, warning to reduce the risks of burns oh god what have I got myself into right Apparently this is called a telescopic thread stand. See so guys, you've got to learn all this because I'm learning it all. Happy learning. Um, number two is a spool stand and spool pin. Number three is the cone holder. Number four, where you at? Mm. Differential feed dial. Don't know what that means yet. Five is the stitch length. Mm -hmm. Six is the upper cutter and the on off switch. Okay. Seven, this flatbed extension provides flat surface for sewing, provides access to the free arm. Okay. Number eight is the needle plate. You know that one. The presser foot is this. The ten is the presser foot lifter, which is behind the machine here don't think you can all see it. This is my presser foot lifter. Then what else have we got? The tension dials are at number 11. What are you pointing at? These. Then number 12, left needle thread tension dial, which is in blue. Yep, we're on this. But on this, right needle thread tension dial, which is green upper loop thread tension which is red and lower through through lower looper thread tension which is in yellow guys I don't really know my left and right very well <sighs> then where's it pointing out now 17 needles oh gosh there's two needles plural okay then we've got 18 which is the front cover which is here does that come away Does somehow. Then almost there, 19 pressure foot adjuster. This 20 stitch finger lever. I'm not sure what it's pointing at. Um, <laughs> let's give it a turn. I see him at the back where the big knob is. <laughs> oh, I found it. So, God, this thing's heavy. This here is the stitch finger lever. 21 is the cutting width the lever. Oh, the lever crank. 22 hand wheel controls movement of the needles and loopers always turn it towards you I think I did um, 23 power stitch it's here and the main plug socket oh well I feel like I'm acquainted now joker oh god so how do you open Oh wow. And then this is the inside of the machine, which has also got a diagram and tells you everything that's going on in there. Um and you need that to help thread it. Oh god, that just got more intense. And then in the accessories pack, it's given me a needle pack, a screwdriver, tweezers, Allen key to change the needles two thread overlocker converter and foot control so I need to make sure I keep those little gizmos safe <sighs> setting up the thread well I'm going to find myself a YouTube video and learn how to thread this thing up um, and I want to know what the different stitches are and what a differential feed adjustment is 
<laughs> oh. Stitch overview. Woven light, woven medium, woven heavy, stretch light, stretch medium, stretch heavy. I'm definitely going to be making projects with stretch, that's, that's without a doubt. And then um, needle position, differential feed, stitch length. Yeah, there's a lot of reading here. Ooh. So if anybody out there knows any good instruction tutorials, let me know. There's also a course on within Leicester, Leicestershire, which I might go to where you take your overlocker and they teach you how to use it and just to get friendly with it and so it doesn't seem so overwhelming. So I might book myself in on that. Um, just the quicker I get used to it, the, m the more I'm used I'm going to get out of it. Um, and I can't wait. So thank you for watching my unboxing video. I will now, fingers crossed, if all goes well, be taking more, well, making more videos of me and my little singer and what we end up creating. So stay tuned to watch this space. Thanks for watching, guys.